What's up guys, welcome to part eight. In this episode, we're getting new rims and tires. Uh, first question is, well, what's wrong with these rims? Uh, nothing really wrong with them. Uh, we just kind of rushed into them because I needed rims right away uh, when I got the car so I could move it around. But when I put them on, I realized the front uh, wasn't wide enough. Uh, so we're going from an eight and a half to a 10 and a half. That's gonna fill out the fenders really nicely. Uh, other than that, the multi-spoke look, this thing has what, like 30 spokes. I think it looks great on a lot of cars, but for the muscle cars, I really like the thicker, uh, fewer spoke look. Specifically, I really like the GT350R Mustang rims. The ones we got are called SVE R350s. They're pretty much replicas of uh, the GT350Rs. They are made specifically for this Mustang. So the offsets and the, and the wide uh, tires, um, they're gonna fill out the fenders perfectly. Uh, so I feel safe getting these. And the third reason is um, we are running on summer tires and we're gonna have to get new tires soon, plus new TPMS sensors because these don't work. So if we're gonna take apart and get new tires and uh, TPMS sensors, I thought might as well just upgrade and get the rims I really, really wanted. Uh, other than that, we're also gonna get some more tinting stuff done. And that's about it. Today is a slightly shorter episode, but hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned. Time for some more tinting. And shout out to AmericanMuscle.com. I know they're located somewhere near, near me, but I ordered this with free shipping, and it's that was yesterday, and it's here the next day. So these are tints for uh, our front turn signals. Uh, basically, uh, I, I just kind of it kind of sticks out because everything else is black, and this part is white. Uh, and there are some really strong LEDs in there, and they kind of overpower the rest of them at night, like these three and the headlights, because they shine kind of everywhere. So I think will make it look a lot better and it will kind of equalize all the LEDs around. So we're gonna do these and then we're gonna do the uh, another tent back there. Got them on, pretty seamless. Uh, camera wasn't rolling because I had to kind of like lay down in an awkward angle and cut these out. It was pretty easy with the X-Acto knife. Yeah, looks nice and clean. that looks much better it's kind of a lot more stealthier now you won't even know it's there until the lights up and it matches the rest of our black theme so nice nice simple easy five dollar mod i think the rims are here here they are i love these so much more i think they got a much better like muscle car look to them and look how wide they are these are the 11 inch wide ones they're gonna go up in the back and then um, 10 inch rides go in the front. Also, I got my TPMS sensors. Uh, they're kind of uh, tough to install right here because you gotta really push them through hard. So I'm gonna use some uh, soap and water and uh, take off these ends so I could push them through without breaking them. And then it's off to the tire shop. Um, I finally found, took me a couple of days to find some 325s. I really wanted to go with the widest possible wheel in the back. Um, I was gonna go with 305, 35s at first, uh, but I couldn't find any around. And I found uh, some 325, 30s off a of Corvette. Uh, it was pretty much a brand new Corvette and it got totaled, so the tires are from there. But these are, we're getting a great deal for these, so I'm gonna um, install these right now, unpackage the rest of the wheels, and off to the tire shop. So I figured out that there's no way I could push these through with just my hands. Uh, these are, requires a special tool, a puller tool. Uh, but I just disconnected all of these. We're gonna stop by and buy the tool and or hopefully the shop has one. And we got our caps. Um, wheels are all loaded up and ready to go. Thank you. 
That's it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the shots at the end. It was raining nonstop. It's the best I could do, but I'm working on some awesome videos for that. Also, I'm on the way to install our new shifter assembly, so stay tuned for that content. Thanks for watching. Peace.